Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if I understand the person correctly, this is what he wants. And he's talking about negative space. And uh, first of all, this is a bitmap. You can see how pixelized it is. And you can also tell by the telltale signs when you move it, you have a box. And it took me a little bit of time to figure out exactly how to do it. And if I understand it, the only thing I did lose, I lost a lot of detail in here, but that could be remedied. So this is going to be a little bit different on a trace. We're going to go to resample. It's already at 300 dots per inch, which is good. We're going to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, but this time we're going to use color because we want that color. Then we're going to go to trace, bat, mit, trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art, and we're going to trace it. And it stayed that color, and we're going to press OK. And now we're going to go here. We're going to go to object and ungroup all this. And this is a simple case of find and replace. We're going to go to edit, find and replace. And normally I just use find, but this is find and replace. We want to find a fill. Doesn't matter what it's set on right now, just get your eyedropper and, and it's yellow. And then hit that out. And then we're going to replace it. But you, if you're a laser engraver, you want to make sure it's RGB. So we want to replace it with an all black. So I'm going to place. So it did it. It replaced all the yellows with black. But that, and then we need to kind of double check, see what it looks like in the background. We'll go up to object, order, back of page, and it's transparent, so it worked. But he also said something to the fact that he wants to be able to do the outline separately. He's using a fiber laser. I don't know anything about those. So control D and make a duplicate. We're going to move it over and we're going to left click, right click and outline. <clears throat> it's, I don't really know why you would do this and it's got a double outline. So that isn't really going to work. There is a way to clean this up. Um, right now we have everything in black that was touching. So we're going to try this. And we're going to use the smart fill tool and we're going to have specify no fill and specify and specify an outline, a hairline in red. And we're going to get in here and we're going to draw a basically lines around everything. We're going to nudge those over. So this is my new line. And I think this is where I lost my detail in that, but we can fix that later. So now we can right click that and make it, I don't know about a fiber laser, how big a width it needs, but we're gonna make it, it a, a normal CO2 laser is, is, has to be something bigger than a hairline. <clears throat> so we've, we've almost got it. There's a little bit of detail in here we've missed, but that can be remedied. Uh, you can just see the double lines so let's just do our smart fill on this and then move it over. And hopefully I didn't nudge anything. No, I did not. And then we can change that to black. We could have made it black in the first. But see, once you get past this hairline, everything is going to start running together. So we make this a half a point. The lines look double. They're not a double. It's just that they're uh, stacked up like that. So my question to him when I sent in the video, one, why do you want to run it twice? Uh, why wouldn't you just run this? He said something about a different effect, so I really don't know. But you can see that there's double lines everywhere when whoever draw that, drew this created it. Now you can do what we did before. Let's control D and make a duplicate. And you see, I got part of that other one. That doesn't matter. And then we can make sure we select it all. We can go left click, right click. And, but it's that half of an inch. 
and it does have double line. Because this is basically a fill, and this, I don't know why that's not going to work like that. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's how you would replace the colors. Now, there is a way individually, and it would take forever, when it wouldn't take that long. Let's get rid of this. Let's make a duplicate of this. And I'd make a couple of duplicates just in case you mess it up. And we could left click, right click in red just so we'll know. And see, we have those double lines. But, and this is what I was going to say, it's going to take a while. Take your smart fill tool, put it on fill this time, so put none in specify fill, and you could fill in every one of these and then nudge them over. And then you will not have double lines when you left click, right click. You'll have only had single, single lines. Now with that said, the ones that are close together, you know, like this is, well, let's just do that one. Smart fill, we'll smart fill that one and that one. And let's see what it looks like when we take away this fill. No fill, so I left click, right click. So that should work. Now this is gonna take a long time. And if you did that and if you wanted to run them twice, uh, I've, I've made plenty of videos on you could do that, have them in the laser, move this out of the way and move this right back in. If you did it with the nudge distance and you were even all the way around. Anyway, I hope that answers the question. Thank you for watching.